Hello and welcome to another DIY terrain video. This video is a time lapse that I shot over the course of uh, like three or four days uh, while painting a unit of six ogre shooters. So with these models, I started out by priming them black and uh, painting a khaki base on their loincloths and some of their garb that they have on. Um, and I also did a dark gray, um, like leggings and um, like back padding. I'm not sure what, quite what it is, but it looks like a, like if you were to put a, a blanket over your back and then staple it to you, that's kind of how it looks on the back of these models. Um, in this, um, I also did uh, a bunch of the metal the same. Uh, you can kind of see in the frame there, uh, Army Painters plate mail. Uh, I think it's a great color. It has decent flow for a metal, uh, so I like using that quite a bit. Now, to forgive me, normally I write scripts out for a lot of the videos I do, but I decided this one would be weird to write a script for, and I kind of figured I'd just go with it. Um, in this case, I put a uh, beige coat down, uh, which is normally lighter than a lot of the wood I use, but I knew that uh, these guys were going to get a dark black wash over their entire model. Uh, similar to the dipping process uh, from Army Painter, but I decided I wasn't going to dip them because it's, it, uh, it's a pain in the butt to dip. Um, these big, this big a model, so I decided to not do that. So I went with lighter colors. Um, the lighter colors allow me to put a very dark shade or a very heavy shade on them, and that turns out a lot nicer. Um, you can also see me uh, painting right now leather straps, uh, of which these models have a ton of them. Uh, it's actually the most time-consuming portion of the entire paint process on all of the ogres because they are completely decked out in leather straps on their legs, their arms, their back, their front, uh, holding most of their armor plates together and to their arms and to their hands, etc. Uh, so, uh, you know, the detail in these miniatures is pretty great uh, in terms of having lots of little details to pick out and highlight. A lot of the uh, metal that I have on here is, uh, you know, a traditional like you know, bulk gun metal or you know, plate mail color uh, that is on them. However, uh, for a lot of their accent pieces, like their uh, wrist bracers, uh, elbow pads, um, brass knuckles that they're wearing, um, I painted all of those in a brass color, um, and uh, that usually turns out pretty well. It's one of the main highlight colors on this entire army. Um, which, uh, you know, I'm very close to completing painting. I'm actually on the last home stretch um, while I'm making this video. I only have three guys left, uh, which is a pretty exciting endeavor for me. One of the things that, uh, usually stops me from finishing a lot of these paint jobs uh, is I get bored of the same color scheme over and over. Um, I get pretty good at making the same um, theme show up on a lot of miniatures for a whole army, but I get bored of it after doing a handful of units and I end up moving on to a new army because I get to paint a new color scheme. Um, so if you look on the paint palette there, you can see I pulled some orange because I figured, you know what, let's use a color that's not normally used on here and why not, it'll be fun. Um, and then you can see here I've been uh, I'm using uh, a wash from Seeger Weapon. Uh, they're clay-based wash. They work out pretty nice. Uh, they're a little more forgiving than uh, the washes that come from, uh, say, GW or other companies. And they're, I'm, I've been toying with oil washes, but I have definitely not gotten the hang of it. So I went to uh, something that I felt comfortable with and confident in using and getting something done uh, right away. Um, their uh, purple skin is highlighted with pink and uh, they're also sometimes highlighted depending on how heavy the wash came out. I use the same color purple just to kind of bring the color back out. As always, if you enjoyed watching this video, um, please go ahead and subscribe. Uh, more the merrier. Thanks for watching.